Welcome back to Fat and Tactical, everybody. I'm your host, Sean, and today we are testing out books to see if they will suffice as a body armor. Now, the books that we have are a little heavy, so I don't know as far as weight-wise they how they would compare to, say, normal body armor that, you know, your regular steel or ceramic plates. I know ceramic plates are a little bit lighter, but... Like I said, we're going to test out paper and see what we see what we can stop. We're starting with 22 long rifle and moving up from there all the way up to 300 blackout and 556. I am still waiting for my 308 to get back from PSA. That's what we're waiting for. So, all right, stay tuned and we will see you with the 22. So the books that we have today are just boring books nothing nothing in date or anything like that see this is from 2014 so as far as anything of importance of today all right so first up per usual we have 22 long rifle out of the caltech p17 took two shots first one was right there in the purple and then our next one was up here and we did not make it through the first book and these are high velocity rounds and there's one bullet one itty bitty 22 22s stop that so we stopped that so let's move up nine millimeter so let me back you out a little bit so up next we got the canic seen this in the last video with 124 grain full metal jackets all right here we go hopefully the audio is picking this up my lav mic is not working with this camera, so there we go. Alrighty, I think the first one went a little low. Because I got a hole in my table. Alrighty, so my first shot I hit low, and then my second shot was dead center. And Moved through the first book to nine. We stopped in the second. And our round is right there. Woo! So, and there's a round. So, we uh, stopped nine millimeter in two of these books. Let's move on to 45 and see if we can get that one to stop as well in the second book. <laughs> yes, dear, I forgot to turn on the camera. All right, up next we got the 1911 from Rock Island with 230 grain FMJs. Here we go. We're going to take two shots. See if we stopped in the second one like I'm hoping we did. All right, we have 22 in the top right corner, and in the middle we have nine millimeter right there above exam. Then we got 45 and 45. And look at that, we stopped in the first book with 45. Where's the second? There it is. A little bit deeper. There it is. All right, and there's the second one. Alrighty, we stopped 40, 45 in the first book. 
I would call that a success. So the nine millimeter stopped in the second book and 45 stopped in the first book along with the 22 long rifle. Let's move on to rifles. All right, so first up we are going to shoot 300 blackout. Um, hopefully I can hit my target because this sight's all janky. Here we go. So like I said, here we go. I believe these are a 150 grain FMJs. I can get this on first at least the first couple shots because like I said this I need to get a new sight one that actually works I recommend not using sight mark here we go I think I say I hit it let me know what you all think of the video so far if you're liking the content leave a like at the bottom hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell let you know when i put out new content also when you leave a comment let me know what your favorite military plane is mine is the a10 Alrighty, so i got lucky and i actually got it on the first shot i think and there's a wasp yeah, you might not want to be down here bud and you can get away from me Alrighty. Ugh. So we hit there. Because remember our 45 was here. This was a 45, 22, 22, 9 millimeter. So we hit right there. Oh. Yep, so we got three, four. All right, so we stopped in the fourth and broke the back of it. Let's see if we recovered the bullet. Oh, hey, aorta. Is that like orcata? Oh, Ed. Let's see what we can find. There it is. Whew, there's some wood. So we made it about, I'd say, four fifths through the last book. And there it is. 300 blackout. Alrighty. We got that. So let's move some of these around. Get some quick ones in the front and see where we stop five five six so we got new books in the front and we'll go shoot five five six all right so now we got five five six which i believe these are 55 grain fmjs we are shooting this out of the delton with the acog clone on top of it so Hopefully this is where it should be as far as being sighted in. Here we go. Alrighty, here we go. Three, two, one. Either that was moving really fast and it just blew through all those books or I missed completely. So let's try that again. That's five, six. I don't know how long. Um, let's go see if we hit it. Let me get you back. New camera. Speaking of new camera, like I said, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe. I appreciate it, every one of you. So, I got all five. Three there and then the two right there. Let's see if uh let's see if we stop them. Stopped at. Alright, so we blew through the first one, blew through the second one, blew through the third one, blew through the fourth one. Okay. 
one go through. All right. It's your time to shine here. What the hell was that? There's, whoo, there's one five five six. I'm sorry. I'm actually surprised that that uh, stayed together because usually they break apart. All right, so this was book number. Oh, would you look at that? They all trailed up and got caught, or at least two of them did, got caught right there. And this was the this was the last one. This was my small one. Yeah, okay, so we stopped in. So we blew through one, but that's because it was all compromised and everything that's essentially a straight hole all the way through this so I, I would be willing to bet as a single shot that we would have stopped the majority of these without having the extra holes in them so now it's just trying Betty everywhere. And it blew through all these. So we stopped three out of the five of five five six. Which I'm really surprised that we did that. Um so I think you'd be a good up to I'd probably say pistol calibers with up to uh, four of these books strapped to you. So this is not advice for using this stuff as body armor so don't do it as a disclaimer <clears throat> so let me know what you all think about this um like i said leave your comments below let me know what your favorite um your favorite military aerial vehicle is whether it be helicopters or airplanes um also let me know in the comments below what do you want to see next that being said i appreciate every single one of you that watch these videos hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next one Choo -choo.